Hello, I'm Bill Kudek, HR technology columnist for Human Resource Executive for the past 25 years. My guest today is Jason Corsello, a former HCM analyst, consultant, and the person who helped me start the Bill Kudek radio show, and now Cornerstone's VP of Corporate Development and Strategy. I wanted to ask him a question that I truly don't have my mind around, and maybe you don't either. And that is this, I've read references to this thing called PASS in the HCM literature, which stands for Platform as a Service, much like SaaS, but you remove the software from the front of it. And I was hoping you could explain to us just what that is. Um, I understand that there are already some vendors doing it, um, though its current value to HR escapes me totally and tell me what the future value of it might be. And I understand that Salesforce.com is sort of the paradigm for all this, so feel free to tell us how they do it and what's going on. Yeah, sure, Bill. So uh, platform as a service is something that Salesforce, um, uh, I think, really pioneered about a decade ago or probably you know, seven or eight years ago. And essentially, uh, it was a way to, uh, as they launched it, build on top of their platform. But I think it has other meanings. You know, in, in my view, platform as a service has a, a few things. First is it allows you to integrate much easier. It allows you to leverage the underpinning technology of that vendor to deliver new types of services, new types of applications. And I think that's where the, the real value is in a platform as a service application, is being able to extend what your application does, either by integrating it better with another solution or adding new capabilities, customizing the application in a new and different way. So it's a trend we're obviously uh, watching very closely and, and something that um, uh, I think is, is, has got a lot of interest uh, from the HCM buyers out there. Not necessarily today, but I think uh, there's growing demand more specifically for the ability to integrate uh, more than anything. Right. So platform as service, on one hand, includes applications that were written on the technical stack of the platform, but also applications that are just sort of sitting there and aren't. Is that right? Yeah. So, you know, in the Salesforce.com world, they look at it two ways. They've got composite applications, which are basically ap applications that may be leveraging or leveraging their APIs to connect into Salesforce's CRM. And then they've got native applications, which are or essentially applications that are built on top of that core platform, that core technology. And I think in both instances, it's really the ability to leverage uh, and integrate into Salesforce. Uh, and APIs are really, as I've referred to, that digital glue that allows you to connect much easier, much uh, more simply, and much more scalable so it doesn't necessarily break all, all of the time. Now, those applications that are native on Salesforce, if you're a Salesforce customer, is that like an iPhone app? I mean, do you just click on it and it just works with what you've got? It, or is there a little work to be done? It depends on the application. Okay. Um, you know, there are some that are more complex than others, but uh, well, a lot of times... Well, obviously, they're enterprise applications. They require some setup and, and, and some decisions to be made. That's right. But also, I think it enables you to really customize and tailor to your needs. So, you know, we have capabilities to, to be able to... Uh, customize the application at the UI layer. Right. But there's different ways that you can uh, leverage a core platform as a service technology to, to tailor the solution to a customer's needs, whether it's at the data level or at the UI level. Right, right. Well, you know, integration's been a big subject lately. I mean, you know, you've read about it on the LinkedIn group, how much people have been talking about it, and arguing whether, you know, we have a whole new set of vendors who aren't rewriting the apps the way the, the talent management vendors did five years ago right. when they were first acquiring them and they're coming up with fancy middleware and all the rest. What's, what's your thought about, about you know, integration today versus unification? I mean, where are we going? Uh, so in all of the research I'm sure you've seen as well, integration so in, in, integration and David, God, I can talk. Uh, integration and data privacy tend to be the top two or three things that people are concerned about with a SaaS application. Right. Today, that's very different. I think through the use of new technologies, APIs are becoming uniform across all applications, or they should be. Right. And so I think through APIs, that allows you a different way to integrate uh, that we didn't necessarily have even five years ago. Right. Well, that's good news. Thanks for telling us about it. Thanks, Bill.